Great. Good, good, good. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations on uh, Freaks, one of the best movies I've seen this year. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So um, what is the inspiration behind this story? Because I watched it the other day and I thought to myself, man, this is what X-Men could have and should have been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we wanted to take, you know, we're huge fans of sci-fi and lots of different sci-fi movies, but we wanted to tell it in a new way. And we looked at a lot of movies that weren't sci-fi, films like Room or Beasts of the Southern Wild or things that were these interesting character-driven dramas about family just trying to survive and apply that to a science fiction world. And we wanted to sort of uh, tell the science fiction story from the perspective of, of the seven-year-old girl. Our character, Chloe, doesn't understand what the world is all about. We wanted to bring the audience into her point of view so that they didn't understand what the world was all about until she did. How uh, challenging was was it logistically because it all happened in that set of one house you know and sometimes the it the teleports from one closet room to the next one can you talk a bit about that yeah i mean the movie is very it, it gets very visually complex um the movie takes place at the beginning in this house she's lived in this house her whole life for seven years and she's never been able to go outside and you think at the, at the beginning oh this is going to be a movie where we never leave these three rooms mm. but quickly you start realizing she gets up the courage to escape and as soon as she gets out you realize, no, get back in that house. There's, I don't want you going outside. Yeah, she escapes the house about 20 minutes into the movie. And then you really don't know where it's going. Because you, you thought, oh my gosh, this movie's all trapped inside the house. And then she leaves the house 20 minutes in. And you're, and you're thinking, well, wow, what is going to happen now? And then I have no visually, idea. visually, things start getting very complex. Um, not to spoil what happens. But mm. they, uh, it goes to places that I think movies of this you know, we, we didn't have a lot of money when we made this movie. It was just us as struggling filmmakers trying to tell a big story with, with little means. So we had to do a lot to make sure that while we're in sort of one location, the movie really breathes and feels like it's got this huge scope. Were Bruce, Emil, Lexi, and Amanda your dream cast from the beginning? I mean, like Zach said, we had very low budget <laughs> yeah. in the beginning. We didn't know if any actors would want to do this because we were barely paying them. Originally, we were going to play the lead role. <laughs> so, we, so we just tried to create really interesting characters so that actors you know, uh, of, of a good caliber would want to do it. And that cast exceeded our expectations. Bruce Dern was the first actor who read the script and said, I want to do this. And he's a two-time Oscar nominee. So we never expected to have people like that in the movie, but we were very grateful to them that they saw these characters and wanted to sink their teeth into the roles. I get the impression that the movie conveys uh, themes of like the fear of others, prejudice, and uh, is it relevant to our society today. What do you hope the audience would take away from it? Yeah, the movie definitely has this theme of sort of the persecution of the other and, and what you do to survive when the world is sort of against you. Um, we wanted to make sure that that theme came across universally. I think everyone tries to figure out their place in the world and and really the question the movie is asking is like when it's risky to be who you want to be do you take that risk or do you hide who you are to be safe and we looked at all sorts of different persecutions throughout all of history to kind of look at how families dealt with those those moments and the film kind of explores that but at the same time it's really just a fun ride as well so it's one of those things where it's a great movie it's a mystery it's a thriller but there's also sort of a theme of of uh, what it's like, you know, when you're a little bit different than everyone else. Zach and Adam, congratulations on Freaks. Thank, Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs>